I'm gonna show you guys how to take the seats out, how to take the rear seats out, and what to do. Because if you see all this stuff, it's just over time, uh, it just gets dirty. I don't know how it gets dirty like that, but it does. And um, when I first got the car, I, of course, did the same thing, gutted everything, cleaned it up at, by hand, and I'll show you guys what I did. And uh, yeah, I still gotta get more products because I gotta seal the leather and all that, or vinyl, whatever it is to protect it from the UV rays or from the sun. It is still original. You can see this right here, it's kind of coming off. Okay, so now that everything's out, what you want to do is get a flathead screwdriver. I like to use one of my dull ones I have. It's not really sharp. See, it's kind of dulled on the ends. And then you're going to need a 14 mil millimeter socket. And uh, I'll show you why I like to use the dull screwdriver or a uh, flathead screwdriver. Let me show you really quick is these little notches right here you can kind of see from me from the last time maybe not but i don't like to make little rips on it or whatever it is in the plastic let's see you can see it probably on this one just a teeny bit I know, i'm weird anyways just stick it in here on the bottom and then just push up on it and you'll hear it click and it releases and then you can just push on the other side with it make sure you get on the inside push and then pull up and then you can just pull it out and then it exposes the 14 mil uh, bolt on it so that's gonna be there's gonna be four of these so two in the front two in the back and then uh, go from there so I'm just gonna take this all out in the front and then I'll do the back and then I'll pull the seat up um, keep in mind though there is a plug under here you need to be very careful do not pull the seat out when it's connected because you can rip that wire it's a real thin wire and the previous owner did it to the other side and I'll show you but anyways, let me get this going. Okay, so when you get to the back, of course, you gotta move the seat up. You just put your hand under here if you can and pull up and then uh, go from there. You can see this bottom piece right here, it goes in this little area. And then this goes to the, uh, whatever it is, the mount for the seat. Uh, I kind of have a hard time the first time because you know, I thought this was, this kind of came out and I was like, why isn't this coming out? But I didn't know you had to, you know, do that kind of motion. So you can see I made a little, not a tear on it, but it's, it's stressed the plastic. So just don't do what I did. So what I like to do is when I get this out, go from the back here, work your way in here, try to push in there. Well, lift up like here actually, and then slowly there you go and then it'll pop out and if that doesn't work just try working your way on both sides you can see this one's a little tore up than this one but that's fine so now i'm going to take these out and then uh, i'll position the seat to show you how to take it out all right so once that's done let's see, just put this back a little bit try to get it evenly um, and then what you're going to do is Lift the seat back like that. You might want to tilt your steering wheel up too. And here's your wires right here. So you got two plugs. Just unplug them. You should shut your battery off or like disconnect the negative terminal. But um, I'm not gonna do that. But this does. Uh, this does. I think this has something to do with the seatbelt. I don't know if you guys ever noticed on your car when you shut the car off, the seatbelt kind of like tugs a little bit. So. But yeah, and then of course this controls the motor and all that to the seat. But just unplug that and then um, go from there. You can kind of see it's a pain in the ass to get it though. Like that. And then um, then you could pull it out. But once you get like this, just make sure this can is folded. And then you're going to pretty much pull it out. Be really careful not to hit your door panels because these are really delicate unfortunately the other side i think i accidentally hit one of them by accident i pulled these out like three times already so yeah just letting you guys know so you don't mess up your door panels mine needs to get replaced so i'm good okay and then on this side that's just one plug don't mind this this uh this was just a quick fix because the last owner ripped the wires out i know it's disgusting and I will fix it, but you can see on this plug, he ripped that out. I didn't really have time to fix it. I know it looks like crap. It's not really safe, but I'll fix it. So 
And then uh, you'll see a bunch of other crap around here that builds up over the time. So, yeah. Now as for the rear, uh, if I remember correctly, you just lift up on the bottom here. And it'll pop. You wanna be careful not to really mess up the leather. And this one too. Let me put this camera down real quick. You kind of have to step in the in the car in order to do this. Just work your way up with it. Try not to bend it too much because this is really delicate. This side's already popped out. As you can see, it just moves freely. I'm gonna run to this side and then go from there. Once that's there and you get that out like that, you gotta push these down. Excuse the idiot dog that's working, but push this down. And you just lift up in there. And that's it. And you'll see these little uh, metal clips or whatever they are, they just go inside the bottom under, under there. And then here's your clips under here. And so go into there and so on so that's how you do it and then you uh just pull it out and that's it and then this one's kind of a pain in the butt uh i might actually just leave this in the car and just clean it in here because i don't have that much space <laughs> to put all this stuff but uh i will show you guys all right and for this seat all you do is take out the bolts one here one over there i think that's it for this one and then uh oh, actually no there's one up here i forgot and then there should be one on that side as well. And then this pretty much will come off. You can put that down and it's exposed right there. And then this whole part comes off. The reason why I say it's a pain in the ass is just it's kind of like awkward working with it. Which is kind of why I don't really want to take it out. But I mean it's not really that dirty. But it does help to, uh, to take it out to clean it. But no one sits back here in my, in my car because it's too little as you can tell. I mean, how do you really expect someone to sit in this? <laughs> but.